Anderson. I'm Brian Allen. After the recent decisions by the South Dakota Public Utilities Commission to deny both CO2 pipeline applications, some might be asking what's next specifically for CO2 capture. I-team reporter Beth Wharton is talking to scientists and government officials to show us how carbon capture can still be viable, possibly without CO2 pipelines. Two proposed CO2 pipelines captured the attention of landowners, those in the ethanol industry, and scientist Jeff Bonner, CEO of CapCO2 Solutions. You know, I think the pipelines are starting to be exposed as other than a good financial engineering job. Bonner has been developing a new way to allow ethanol plants to make money from the CO2 produced. He believes the answer is green methanol used in the shipping industry. There's 40 ports around the world that are going to be putting green methanol refueling facilities. Disney Cruises has announced their next cruise ship will be a green methanol fueled ship. The process of converting the CO2 to green methanol is done on site. The CO2 is heated, converted, cooled, and exits to a rail car as non-compressed methanol, less flammable than ethanol. You have to supply electricity more than the ethanol plant is using now. You have to supply the CO2, and you have to supply the railroad car to fill up. The green methanol could be delivered to the Gulf Coast. You have an instant very big market. So why are you throwing away the CO2 and burying it, leaving aside all the other problems of the pipelines? Why would you do that when you can add new revenue from the green methanol? In addition to green methanol, another technology pulls the CO2 right out of the air and buries it on site. The Biden administration infused 1.2 billion, launching two U.S. plants. We're excited to build a U.S direct air capture industry. The first two plants in Louisiana and Texas will be part of a network of 21 direct air capture plants. They will not include a CO2 pipeline, but will permanently sequester the CO2 underground. Once they reach their full capacity of uh, a million tons per year each, would be the equivalent of almost half a million cars being taken off the road every year. In Sioux Falls, Beth Warden, Dakota News Now. Monar is in conversations with local ethanol plants interested in signing up. Construction is underway for the first client in Illinois, which is Atkins Energy and Ethanol Refinery. Don't want anyone to panic here, but there were more.